Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 6 of my Neo Network Skyblock Let's Play. The server that I own that you can play along with me on Joe, both Java and Bedrock Minecraft. Info down in the top pinned comment and description below. Would love to see you around. Anyways, guys, in today's episode, episode 6, we're going to be doing massive things. The first step is taking away this to make this cactus farm bigger. Now, I don't know how big, but I'm going to do it on replay mod, so fear not, you don't have to watch me place cactus and sand and string by hand. That would be no fun. But I got a lot of stuff planned for today's episode. But let's start off, spend an hour or two building a giant layer. I don't know how many layers, right? We have two so far. Maybe we'll make it six, maybe we'll make it eight, maybe we'll make it 10, I don't know. But at this point, it makes us about $10 million every 24 hours. And that's with cactus on the rotating shop. So make sure you hop on and build yourself a cactus farm. You're getting gonna get a three times cell multiplier um, if you do come on quickly. Anyways, okay, so I have all the stuff in my inventory. I have also have the rest of the supplies in these chests down here. Just been reinvesting our cactus into buying stuff and we have access to spider spawners now. Thanks to our spawner area up there that you can see. And yeah, enjoy this. I'm gonna take away this thing first and I realize my inventory is full so I'll have to empty some stuff. But yeah, things have been going great, man. I'm super excited for today. Well, that replay mod was actually only 48 minutes long, so I condensed that down into what, like 30 seconds of a time lapse? So, only about 48 seconds or 48 minutes to do one, two, three, four more layers. So, originally it was just these two layers right here, and we basically tripled it in size. Yeah, we tripled it in size. So, I have not put the hoppers back down. I'm kind of scared. You can see little stacks of cactus. Like, do you see that 49 cactus down there? Four cactus down there. The server just kind of bunches up items on the ground just to save lag. Uh, ten cactus over there. I mean, it's going absolutely crazy. So, just to kind of see the rate. I I'm only going to be using four crop hoppers, right? I don't, I don't know why I did it like that. I will put down our full uh, system here in a second with the auto cell chest. But for right now, all I want to do is find the center for chunks. Which I was standing very, very close to. And then I just want to put down a crop hopper in each chunk like this. And I just want to see how fast is this thing really going. Come on. Come on, Minecraft. That's not even our server that does that. It makes the server look bad. It's just the, the Minecraft client for 1.19 is just terrible. Anyways, so this is how fast it's working now. You guys remember whenever we did just the two layers? Well, look at this, dude. And uh, to be fair also... You have to remember that some of these, like these top two layers probably wouldn't have even grown their first cactus yet, or at least this top layer for sure, because it just got placed. So it'll probably become even faster than that. Well, anyways, I'm going to go back up to the top real quick. And here's our wonderful spawner array, nice and beautiful. And I'm going to grab myself an absolute ton of wood. Now, if we need more wood, we can farm it. It's not that hard. Uh, we have a little bit of... I don't want to use that wood. Um, sure. I mean, this thing needs to be massive. Uh, again, I mean, I'm going to have this thing running pretty much 24-7. You're allowed to AFK all you want on the server. You just cannot be doing anything while you're AFK. Whatever. I'll just use it. Surely it doesn't just give you three planks. Yeah, I was going to say that'd be kind of a scam. Sometimes some of the... rest. Okay, so I saw this on, on Reddit, right? So two, st so two planks equals four sticks, correct? And then three planks equals six slabs. So does that mean that two sticks, like, wait, 
<laughs> I don't remember. But does it make any sense that you only get four sticks from two oak logs and then you get six left? Minecraft is just kind of mean, man. It doesn't make any sense. So this is all the chests that we will probably need. We're going to need more hoppers now. Now that's one thing I don't have like a whole ton of. But in the last episode yesterday, we crafted ourselves a super, a super furnace. And what this does is just smelt stuff one time every second. So let's put like, for instance, some iron in there. Look at this. <laughs> this is, oh, hey, yeah. It's just kind of crazy. So what I'm going to do, and this doesn't count towards your island missions if you do it like this. So make sure if, if you're going to do this, that you just uh, mm, don't necessarily need that right now. Uh, just make sure if you're going to do this, you're not intending to complete the island missions this way. So I'm going to mine for a little bit, get some iron. Um, and I should be able to, if I'm thinking about this correctly, which I'm pretty sure I am. All I have to do is load this into here. And then I just put stuff I want to smelt right here, and then it'll get ejected into the chest. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get a bunch of iron for a bunch more hoppers. Okay, now I'm I'm a little bit giddy to get this going. Like, I, ooh, I was so excited. Like, how many diamonds are in here? It's crazy. Uh, but you guys also have to remember that we have the cobblestone filtered out. So all the cobblestone in the world is going into here so that we can hopefully one day make more super furnaces. Turn the sound back on because I was watching the YouTubes. And yeah, cobblestone is pretty rare when you mine when your gen is this high up. So like I said before, make sure you mine a lot of cobblestone when your generator is, you know, n not old. Because or we, when your generator is not upgraded, sorry. Because if you search on here, like you wanted to buy cheap cobble, not really possible. Someone's trying to scam people for 40k a piece because you can just buy it on the slash shop, right? Like you can convert your cactus money directly into cobblestone for only 200 a piece. Yeah, I mean for an inventory, it's about 280k. Yeah, but with your Cactus Mastery at triple sell price, you get about 600k per box of, or per double chest of cactus. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I've ever, have I ever burped on a video? You know, most people have an editor so they can edit it out, but I'll probably just forget that I did that if I'm completely honest. Anyways, enough with my uh, string of random thoughts. Let's hop down here and let's get this bad boy cooking. So, first of all, I need to make myself some hoppers. How many you say? I am not sure. Um... I don't know if we need 64 more hoppers, but I'm going to go with, you know what, whatever, man. I, also, we need to check our ISF rate. What's our hopper limit? Okay, it's only 10k sky coins more. We don't have 10k in the bank. We have 138,000 on our player. So we're at 100 hoppers limit. Oh, that's fine, whatever. Okay, I'm curious to see how much cactus we're gonna get. Now that this thing's had a little bit of time to sit here and stew, just while we were mining for like 10 minutes. Oh my gosh! This is a whole double chest almost! And look how fast it is now that the top layer is starting to grow too. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. Dude, we're gonna be so rich. This is gonna be like 40, 50 million dollars every single night. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, watch this. Isn't that cool? So cool, bro. Anyways, let's... I don't... I don't... I keep selling my steak. I wish that steak was not sellable, but it makes sense that it is sellable. It's just I keep selling it because I like to use the sell all feature, okay? Makes my life easier because I, I don't want to have to click, you know? My life's so hard. I got to click on all these cactuses. Cacti. Did I just say cactuses? <laughs> Cacti does not sound real to me, okay? I, I don't believe that that's a thing. I know it is, okay? Don't... I know it is. Um, so the four chunk border, the four corners, just like a, that place in the United States is right here. So we're going to start our first little chest right here. And all we're going to do now... Now, I don't even know if this blocks that one cactus from growing, but it's such an insubstantial amount, I'm not really concerned about it. But let me go ahead and build a build like a big old row of these chests and then I will connect it over. What I may do as well. Nah, we'll, we'll just make this thing taller. This is fine. Okay, so give me a second and let me do this real quick. Okay, last chest is going in, baby. Okay, so this should be enough chest storage. I'm hoping. 
To be honest with you, we might need a little bit more, but we can just make it taller and taller. This is not the last evolution of this cactus farm. I'm probably gonna do streams where I break this or, or where I make this thing even bigger. Now, the thing I know I'm gonna be streaming sometime this week, so today is Sunday, so I don't know if it'll be on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, whatever it is, we're gonna be streaming sometime this week, getting to cactus mastery level one. Because it's really boring, and I want to be able to talk to you guys while we do it. And we can struggle with it together, but we really need to get that triple sell price of cactus. And to get that, again, you have to get that tier 1 mastery in cactus so that you can make the cactus minions. And then with those minions, they can simulate breaking it for you, because it's an absolute travesty. If you had to sit there and break that by hand, we're not going to do that to you here at Neo Network. No, no, no. We'll give you automated means. Okay, so basically how this thing works is you just put hoppers going into each one of these chests. I already explained it the first time I built this, so go back and watch the video entitled Mega Cactus Farm, I think. It's just it's the one with the picture of the cactus farm or a bunch of cactus. I don't remember which thumbnail I chose to use, but yeah. I'll just build the exact same thing that I did in that video, just a little bit taller. Well, hey, I did build a few too many hoppers, but you know what? We just reached our hopper limit, so let's IS deposit sky coins. We'll do ten thousand because that's what we need exactly for the. That's what we need for the upgrade. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now we're up to one hundred and fifty hoppers. I don't think we're gonna be using fifty more hoppers. I mean, that's that's one of the limits. I believe it goes up pretty dang high, and if people really ever want it higher, we can make it even higher. But yeah, it goes all the way up to five hundred hoppers. If you, you. <laughs> I don't know what size cactus farm you're going to get, but if you can get on and sell it once per day or have a bunch of auto sell chests, you're going to be fine. Now, I don't know if you can craft auto sell chests. I don't actually think that you can. Yeah, that may be one of those things you cannot craft. So let's go to like AH. Are people just selling those? Auto. We'll just search auto. Yeah. And they're very cheap. Wow. Okay, this person has 13, and they're only 300,000 a piece. That's like super cheap, dude. So if you need more, it's not that hard to get them. So if I've done this correctly, the four corners should be like, yeah, they're close enough. It doesn't really matter. So let's build up with some material. Sure, I'll build up with some oak planks. I don't mind. And let's go up to the four corners just above this. And you gotta keep in mind, I'm gonna have an auto sell chest be down here. Just gonna catch any of our overflow materials. Could just put it over here, it doesn't really matter where it is. It just needs to be one block away from other chests. So we'll go ahead and just build this line up. And then just build this hopper line going over top the other hoppers. Facing into wherever you want things to end up after everything else is full. Just basically facing away from where your actual hopper uh, your hopper collectors, your crop hoppers are going to be. I don't know why the English language tonight is escaping me. Um, let's see. So where is the four corners? Like right here and right here and right here. So we need one here, one here and one here. Okay, so that means a hopper right here. And then we need one right here, one right here. And one right there, and one right there. Don't know why that's so hard for me, but let me break this thing down and make sure it works. And whenever you're building these, if you're on Java, hold down F3 and tap G to turn these on and off. But let's say you're playing on your phone or something. Just do slash chunk border like this. And this will put borders around the chunks. So you can see that this one is in there. If you go to the next chunk over, this one is in here. And then so on and so forth, and you can kind of check it for yourself. But yes, these are all working good. So the first like chest to fill up will be right here, and then it will fill up that row. Then it'll go down to this one, so on and so forth in this pattern like that. And then eventually into the auto cell chest, which I don't know how much it is to upgrade. It's 400k sky coins, so we're not gonna upgrade that. Not for a long while, but I think 180 seconds, that's every three minutes, that should be enough time for us to, you know, like, if this whole thing somehow gets full, I'm pretty sure that's still enough time uh, to where it won't get clogged up ever, which, wow. <laughs> that's, that's a sight to see. That was a whole lot of work. Let's look at it from the ground. I did build this little thing right here, just so we could get up and down, because otherwise it's, well, I mean, it's impossible because we can't fly. Um, let's look at it from over here. 
Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem that big, like, because I've seen bigger on the server, but, like, knowing how much work goes into just a four chunk, uh, a four chunk that's one, two, three, four, five, six layers, uh, dude, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. But, yes, let's do, some, let's do some other stuff. This thing will just be making us money. We should never have to worry about money ever again. I don't know if I want to make the top area look better or what I want to do, but I know I want to do something. I did want to craft more super furnaces, so I'm going to do slash, first of all, sell. It's all this dang cactus. We don't need any of you around these parts. And then let's do slash masteries craft or slash M craft. And just throw this into here and make ourselves some enchanted cobble. I don't even think it's enough for one super furnace, but it's okay if it's not. Not even close, but I think we might actually have... Oh, oh, let's go. That's that's kind of nice. I mean, I didn't think we had exactly five in that other inventory, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Two super furnaces is nice. I think I drank too much caffeine. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I'm talking. This is the second energy drink. It's been a long day, man. It's been a long day, but... Having two super furnaces is nice. Obviously, this, you know, hopper system, I'm not going to leave it there. It was literally just to get iron. The only reason it was like that, um, the only reason that you would put it like that is once you already have these missions done. So if you look in missions, the one I'm trying to do, the one I keep talking about and rambling about is this one. Smelt 2300 cobblestone and smelt 1150 ores. Not close to either one, but we're going to do them. At some point, we've done every other quest in here. As for our island missions, I don't believe... We need to add a back, bu back button to this GUI. I'm not sure why there isn't one. You guys also make fun of me for calling it a GUI. But, like, if you go on Wikipedia and look at the pronunciation of graphical user interface, abbreviated G-U-I, the second pronunciation is GUI, okay? <laughs> so don't make fun of me anymore, okay? I hurt my feelings. So we've completed... 12 out of 14 quests. Why did that math take me so long to do? Which ones have we not done? Reach 10,000 island value. Dude, we could do that in like two seconds. We could do that in like two seconds. We do need to build a place to increase our island value. I'm not sure why we haven't yet. Um, lapis is not one of those materials. I don't know why I'm grabbing that. We'll grab all the emeralds, all the diamonds, and I believe copper does, but I don't like how copper looks. I'd rather just do copper and, and emeralds. IS value blocks. IS block values. There it is. I always get the command wrong. I'll never remember it. So these are all the com the blocks that you can use. You can use gold, iron, obviously netherite. For some reason, hoppers increase it. I, I don't know, dude. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but I don't think we have any iron because we just used it. So let me see if we can scrounge around. I mean, we have some emeralds there. We have some gold in there. Some gold in here. I guess we could get some of that. 64 blocks of coal. What else is in here? Iron and gold. Iron. We don't have any more gold. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just smelt up this gold. Oh, dude. I love these things, though. Seriously, just, just watch it. Isn't that satisfying? Oh, and look. We're getting two per. So, do you see that repair level at the top? That's just another MCMMO skill. And the more you level it up, the higher the chance it is to just create, like, just give you two at a time. So, if you smelted one raw gold, it may just start giving you two, which is kind of nice. Just basically doubles your ores. So, let's see out of a stack. Let's see how often it occurred. Yes, yeah, so you can see it's already full. So, 11 times it gave us two, basically. Or five times i don't know <laughs> i'm so bad at math it's, it's kind of funny it, it's it's unacceptable to be at the age i'm at and not be able to do these calculations man make sure you guys pay attention in your your algebraic classes your geometric classes your who's it what's it classes make sure you pay attention don't end up like me i think i just had a bad math teacher like early on but here i am blaming it on the teacher i don't know if it's i don't think it's their fault i think it's my fault uh, I wonder if anyone that has ever, like, taught me in school has ever seen a video of mine. Uh, maybe? You know what I mean? Like, maybe when I told them what I did in school, but, like, years later? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Okay, well, looks like both of these have finished up. So, let's go ahead and just craft these gold ingots into gold blocks. 
and then we get to build ourselves a nice area to put them down. Now, I don't even know if this will give us 5,000 island value. What was it again? Is it 50,000 or 5,000? Because those are pretty big numbers. Pretty big. Oh, 10,000 island value. Maybe. Like, what's a diamond block if I went in here? What's a diamond block? 180. Oh, okay, yeah, we may be getting somewhat close, but it's okay. We can grind for it. Do I want to make myself depressed and do IS top and see what the top islands have for value? <sighs> okay. <laughs> 136 million, and I'm over here trying to get 10,000. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we built this thing to do fishing. Oh my gosh, my cats are having, having a tumble. I'll be right back. But yeah, if I'm completely honest with you guys, this thing looks terrible. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just like a thing of water, so I might, um, I might remove it, uh, potentially. I just don't see the point in it now. Mm, I don't even have any cobblestone. Do we have any sort of block I can just stick in here to break it? To get rid of the water? Um, preferably terracotta, since for some reason terracotta will activate super breaker, but concretes won't. I don't know why. I don't know. MCMMO is a very old plugin. We have, you know, a lot of custom development added on to MCMMO, like just, you know, forks. Basically, when you fork something, is you take a public plugin and you make your own changes to it. If you ever hear, like, oh, well, that's a fork of this, that's what that means. It just means someone's customized the code. So if I were to take my super breaker now, well, first of all, do I have the hoe in my PV1? Okay, I do. Let's take away the moss. Which is just an insta break. So satisfying. So satisfying. Nice. And then let's super breaker this bad boy. Well, let's take away this first. I think this still has lumberjack on it. Yeah, lumberjack one breaks the leaves instantly. So we don't even need the hoe really unless we're farming. We will start farming next weekend. We just needed money from this cactus farm. And also, keep in mind, I could put this collection system all the way up here, so we don't have to go down there to collect it, but since, I wanna, since I'm going to be expanding it so much, I might as well eventually put that up here and make some sort of house for it, maybe below this layer or something. I don't know, but check this out. <laughs> so my mining level is over I think a thousand now so this thing lasts 20 seconds which I just removed the whole thing on one super breaker and that was quite a bit of mossy cobble and it just just ran out so let's build a little area for this I don't remember exactly where our island border is but I'll just remove the texture pack that makes it invisible all I did was went on vanilla tweaks I downloaded one of their better world border things I uh, unzipped the file that it gave you I just deleted the, the PNG texture for the world border, so it's just loading it in, but it's just blank. And that's that's how I achieved that. I'm not gonna do like a permanent thing up here now that I think about it, because there's no point. I'm gonna end up having such a large area for value that I don't really wanna do that. Um, and I don't really have a good area for it either. Maybe we could do something right here? Like in between these things? Hmm. Maybe like just a little like show of value, not necessarily where all of our true value blocks will go. Cause eventually we'll just buy netherite with our money and use that. But maybe for right now we'll build something kind of small, something out of a different material. Maybe mossy cobblestone and moss, since we have those in our inventory. Totally not because I'm lazy and don't want to buy anything from the shop. It's not actually that reason because it just takes like two seconds. But we need to make our path. I think it's green concrete. Yes, it is. Okay, so let me figure out how I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm probably just gonna build a circle, a circular platform, and then put value blocks on it. Problem being, I don't know how big it can be. So this is two, and then it goes diagonal two again, and then three. No, see, this will run into the side of this. So let me figure out a smaller circle shape. I don't really want a 3D printer, man. <laughs> I just. I really want a 3D printer. Does anyone in the comment section have a 3D printer? What 3D printer do you have? I want to know. Anyways, guys, so I built this little area here. It's it's kind of a circle, but it's circular. Okay. No, it's not a perfect circle. No, it's not like something someone would build. Like some B-dubs would build where it's a circle, but then you look at it and it has like 
I don't know, man. B B double O I think is the best builder in Minecraft. I think Grian for a while was, you know, t toe to toe with him. And then dude, have you guys seen his latest base on his survival or on his like building world or whatever? I think it's still on survival, but Yep, this is our little platform to put down blocks. We don't have very many, you know, we just have a, you know, a, a decent stack of gold. So I'm going to do what Cairo first taught me to do, which he has a Let's Play on the series too. And someone named Mr. Data also has a Let's Play. His first episode should have come out yesterday. So if you guys want to go watch that, he did it with his uh, kids and I believe his wife too. So it's really cool. If you guys want to go watch it, I love to support the media creators here on Neo Network. It's not just me, okay? I'm not alone in this, man. We got other people making YouTube videos for the network. And uh, if that's something that interests you, you want to get trained by me and you have some experience or even none and you have the passion for it, you can make a media application on our Discord server. That's something I've liked to do. I do it completely for free and you can actually earn gift cards every month. So that's somewhat of a pile. Looks decent. We don't have nearly as much of the diamond, so we'll try to make it a little bit smaller. But we still want to make it look like a nice like pile thingy. I, I don't know. It's what Cairo did the first season. I thought it looked so good, so I like completely copied him. Okay, so now we have a diamond pile, a gold pile. We'll make an even smaller emerald pile. Still want it to be somewhat tall. Um, sure. <laughs> we really don't have that many emeralds at all. We'll put that down there. And then a little tiny pile of, gold, of iron. I... Wait, what is the block value for iron? It's 14 per. You know what? Sure. We'll, we'll just put it down. It's kind of useless, but it's it's something, I suppose. There we go. Now we have a nice little display of island value. And did we do... Th what is our block? What is our, our island value? 8,633. We can do better. For instance, we could just literally go to the shop and do something like this and go in here and we could buy a couple of these and... And we should be good. We did spend almost all of our money. And you know what I can do is I can replace this terrible iron. Ugh. I'm just going to throw it off the edge. I'm just kidding. I need it for hoppers. Um, uh, eventually, I, I know I'm getting distracted. Eventually, I want to have an actual sorting system in here. Like, you see how this, these hoppers basically only allow cobblestone to go in them. And that's how it gets like cobblestone. Well, if you have enough ore hoppers... Technically, you're gonna need if without soak touch, you're gonna need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think you need 12 ore hoppers, and then you'll have 12 different areas where like diamonds will be in here, copper will be in here, iron, lapis, gold, redstone, etc. etc. And you can actually make a pretty organized thing. I haven't broken this. What did we get? <laughs> I don't honestly know. I know that. We did get the wither effect. We have a we have 55 uses of cell ones. We can merge into there. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to slash sell it because we really don't need it. If you check the P oh, if you check the PV2, well, you can't check my PV2, but I could check my PV2. Hold on. Uh, we'll sell the iron. No, wait, I wanted to keep. <sighs> Why do I do that? Look at my PV2, man straight crops the next weekend we're gonna focus on crops we focused on a lot of stuff this weekend but next time is crops okay let's make this a fairly tall kind of kind of pointy tower sure mm, we don't want it hanging on the <gasps> <gasps> hey look we completed the mission though but still it's not enough we got to go back up to the top and actually finish this little pile yeah, that that fishing pond was a. We'll just say that was that was a negatory. That was definitely a negatory. Um, I don't know, man. Hmm. How do I want to put these? Like that. There we go. Now we have a pile of emeralds. We have a pile of gold, diamond, and netherite. Doesn't that look kind of cool? I think. I don't know, man. I'm kind of proud of it, okay? I've just been working hard on this island, and, I, and I'm proud to finally have something that I can, you know, hang out on. I'm also going to keep this island public so you guys can come on and check it out whenever you want. Um, you will only, for now, be able to stay in this little, little room right here, but if you want to come in here, you can kind of check out the island and uh, look at the cactus farm and stuff. So I'll do IS public, and you guys are welcome to come on here. All you have to do when you hop on the server is just do slash is visit the neo cubist 
and then it will just basically take you to my island home which is right here apparently we can spin the daily spinner again so let's go ahead and spin that what are we gonna get 50 souls times times spun which was like f six so we got 300 souls that's pretty dang good let's go in here and let's check out the soul shop let's see what's on it today a permanent rank that's what's cool about neo network is you just all you have to do is vote and uh you can buy stuff from here or hopper an electric tag a bedrock tag cool i kind of like the bedrock tag kind of a, a cool gray color now, like I was saying, when you do slash vote, it's really helpful because you can earn gift cards to buy stuff from the store. Like, I'm two votes away from getting that $5 gift card. We're definitely going to buy Fly because we really need it. And then you also get these ranks, which to see what those ranks give you from voting. These are just vote ranks. They reset every season. But to be fair, all you have to do is vote to get them. And uh, at the end, near the end of the season, maybe a little bit before the end, you can get up to a 20% cell multiplier and a 20% Skycoin multiplier. So it's definitely worth it to do slash vote. All you have to do is just slash vote like this, click your player head, click the link, click yes, or just go to store.neocubist.com slash vote. There you go. There's my, there's my sponsored part of the video <laughs> asking you to vote for my Minecraft server. Anyways, I want to look through the missions. Let me see if I can find anything interesting for us to do. I do want to collect this and then I also want to collect this. Oh, we already did that. Um, earn 25 mob he heads as an island. Oh, okay. We'll collect that. I don't know which one of these we've collected. Which one did we just complete that we just worked toward? Oh, that was the personal mission. Uh, okay. So I think we've done literally all of these. Yeah, we've done all of them. Okay, well then what's in tier two? Upgrade your island 10 times. We've already done that. Kill 25,000 mobs as an island. Wait, how have we not done that? We had to get 12,000. Oh, because we didn't have it unlocked. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Mm, earn a million as an island? Okay, wait, I thought I, I thought I said I was gonna look through these myself. Hold on. Oh, okay, I was confused about this mission. So I killed 10,000 mobs, I unlocked this one, and then this next counter in the next tier just resets, and this is asking you to kill 25,000 more, not 25,000 total. Okay. But yeah, I think I found what I wanna do. Oh, dang, well, we just, we just had that one done, and that was four more. Okay, let's go use these cosmetic keys. You can get like ch warp crats. Nope, warp crates, if I could spell. There's some pretty cool stuff in the, in the cosmetic crate. Okay, so let's go over. I'm gonna do hide players, and then let's go to the cosmetic crate. Now let's see what we can get. Something cool, potentially. Nice, so we have a zombie disguise, an underworld ruler chair, I believe, and then a spider disguise and a spider pet. Nice, okay, well, let's go ahead and redeem these. So the chairs are pretty cool. We already have that disguise. No, okay, well we'll throw it on the ground for someone. Someone gets a free one. And then I don't know if we already, oh, we already have this one too. So let's do slash chairs. So if you want to flex on your friends, you can sit in a nice chair. Now this one's probably one of the best ones, I think. I think it looks really cool. And yeah, you just kind of sit here and, and you hang out in your chair, so nice. Okay, so we have 131 XP and I really want to get like multi-kill five now. It's pretty hard to get it, but I'm gonna go here. We can buy one extreme book, guys. Now with this look, if you leave a like on the video right now, seriously, take your finger, and go out of full screen, rotate your phone, scroll down a little bit and tap. Thank you so much. That would be amazing if you did that. And maybe this extreme book with your help and the like button, <laughs> help. <laughs> Whatever, we'll just open it. <laughs> Treasury four. <gasps> what, how did I get that? How did I get that? What's that worth, dude? What's that worth? That's so lucky. Why do I keep clicking on that? Okay, treasury. Treasury, we're gonna increase the interest rate. Oh, we're gonna increase the interest rate. Look at that, dude. Treasury four is selling for seven million. Okay, looks like there is treasury five, but it's okay. We still have the, the second highest. It's selling for quite a pretty penny. Now, you have to pay attention with these custom enchants. 28% chance it will successfully apply. 72% chance it will fail and a 5% chance it will destroy itself or destroy your tool that you're trying to put it on. So to put it on, you do this and then you click on the tool. We're not going to do that. We're going to be smart. We're going to go back to enchant and when we get enough XP, we'll go into here and we'll buy some of these. So a protection scroll protects your book or protects your tool from, you know, 
if this was going to it protects it from the destroy chance these bright scrolls increase the success chance now it's 10k sky coins per so it's not actually that expensive and it's kind of random how much it increases it so we'll go into here and then just boom <laughs> So that increased the success chance to 33, 39, 45, 50, 55, 60, not nice. And then I'm just going to buy some more here. They are 10k sky coins a piece, but it's okay. It's worth it. We're going to get so much money because we're going to have to mine for that money anyways. 84%, 85, 87, 94. We're so close, dude. Come on. Couple more. Oh, we don't have any more sky coins. It's a 97% chance of success. It's successfully applied. Let's go. We got treasury four. Now, I don't know exactly what it does, but it says it increases the amount of stuff you get when you break a block. So that's pretty dang nice. Now, fortune on our server even works on like naturally generated blocks, but I'm willing to bet that this gives you like quite a bit more stuff. Like there's no real way to measure it. Unless I was to like, for example, go in here and like sell everything in these chests. Okay. And then let's see, these are not empty. Okay. Well, let me, let me wait for the stuff to flow into them. Also, let's check our servant here. Since we upgraded the efficiency, I think last episode, so it's already 25% full. We'll collect all of it and then we'll go ahead and sell all of it. That's 9k plus whatever's in the overflow. So we'll sell all that. That's $226,000 in like a couple hours, just with the servant that you get for completing two personal missions. Once, you, once you've done two personal missions, do slash servants, and you'll have your very own servant. Anyways, these chests are completely cleared out, so let's test this, right? We have fortune three, um, which you can get it to be even higher. You gotta keep that in mind. Um, you can make it really, really high. You can get up to fortune 15, but we only have fortune three right now. So I think that's a maximum of six per in default Minecraft. So that one diamond gave us four diamonds. Okay. So let's go ahead and take or sell them. Do the same thing here. And I'll see. Hopefully it gives us like a ton more. I don't know. That was one diamond. Just one. Okay. I can count over one. So how many more than one? Hello. Two? Okay. I don't know, man. It, it seems like it'll work. That's an emerald. Let's see which one it goes into. Just one. I don't know. I'm sure... I, I know it works, but I don't know how often it works. It's probably not like as much as I thought, but it's still a boost, and I'll take any boost, especially when our main source of sky coins we're already going to have to be mining, so even 5% more is going to help us out in the long run. Cool. So yeah, we can't even check out what the next tier of personal missions are because they're locked. So we really do just need to do this one in between episodes because it's just a bunch of smelting. And then I believe there's one more that we haven't done. We'll have to, that probably won't be done between episodes. So we'll do that next weekend and then we'll do this in between episodes. And then of course we're gonna be live streaming in the next few days, the cactus farm. Be there or be square. If, even if you don't play on the server, join the Neo Network Discord server just because you'll get an announcement whenever I start streaming or just join my official Discord server. Either one works. I send out notifications whenever I stream on both servers because YouTube's terrible about telling you about live streams. Anyways, okay, let's go check our mega cactus farm. I am very curious. How much have you produced for me? Oh, great cactus farm. Have you done one whole row yet? Nope. Have you done up to here? No. Nope. Have you done up to here? Yes. So we already have a double chest full plus half of a chest in like 20 minutes, which is, I mean, look at this, dude. You see how fast it increases by like five every time? Oh, it's so nice. That increased by nine. Imagine when this thing goes all the way up to there, how fast it'll be. All right, well, let's take some time in the episode to go see what other people in the top islands are doing. I'm very curious. So let's go to island number one with 40, 141 million island value. So it looks like it's under construction for now, or this is how it's supposed to look. I am unsure. They have a bunch of player shops where they will buy your diamond blocks for more than the store will, but because of their mastery, they can sell them for more than you can. So it's kind of a nice way to make profit. They also buy your vote keys for 500k a piece. So if you wanted to come here, they'll buy your pet eggs for 2 million a piece, which is nice. Cool. So there's tons of way to make money. Like even with just, you know, you can auction house flip or you can be like these people and be super rich. 
And uh, yeah, there's not a ton to see. I don't think we can really access very much of anything quite yet. Again, I think this is kind of under just under construction, but look how big their island is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how big it is. What is that over there? We must find out. Okay, so it looks like a jail of some sort. It says Cam's Hut, not approved under renovation. Interesting. Is there anything in it? I don't know. I mean, I can't see inside of it, but it looks like there's some sort of, you know, teleport inside of there. Anyways, let's go check on island number two. Ooh, now this is what I'm talking about. Now this is a public grinding area. This looks so nice. So people make public grinding areas where you can come and grind mobs on other people's islands. Again, every 10 kills that a, that a non-member of your island gets counts as one kill for you so they can help you get to the next tier plus it's nice just to have people on your island and you can, if you can build something beautiful like this why not this is so nice okay let's go check out number three okay here is number three shop we buy and sell that is indeed what a shop does the mine of odin ore hoppers so see how they have tons of sorting ore hoppers it looks like Ooh, nice i wish i could I could try it out, but that's the kind of ore uh, generator I want to make. It looks really cool, though. I actually really like the way that looks. Ooh, like clouds up there, too? Hmm. So their whole island is, like, publicly accessible, which is kind of cool. I, I like it. And here's their spawner area. A little bit more scattered than the other one, but still functional nonetheless. And there's another lower tier spawner area. Cool. I like this island. Let's go check out number, I think, four, right? I think. Yeah. Four. This is by far the most common type of grinder. Uh, people will buy heads on the head shop. If you go to eight shop, you can buy like custom player heads. Like for example, you can go in the alphabet and you can just, you know, find all there's 211 pages, man. Or you can go in here and you can buy tiny little decoration blocks. Like for example, you could buy like a little tiny chest or you could buy a little tiny barrel. There's 425 pages in here, man. Look at this. But yeah, you can buy those like 30 head tokens. We could buy something like that, but they're nice to decorate with. But yep, this just looks like one of the most common types of spawner areas, which isn't a bad thing because it really does work. Cool. Okay, let's go check out number five. I don't know why I keep forgetting what I'm on, man. That's bad. We went to this one now to this one. That player's island is private. Okay, then on to number six. Ooh, I really like this one because it's not laggy at all. All it has is just some little huts with each spawner type. I dig that. I like a simple vibe, man. I, I really enjoy the way this one is. Okay, let's go check out number seven. Ooh, this looks really cool. I like these. Looks like the water flows and then they drop down into a nice little killing chamber. Looks good to me. Oh, 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 oh. I'm pretty sure that's a four chunk cactus farm too. And we have six layers and they have one, two, three, Like over 40 layers. I don't know exactly, but I did a rough count. That's like over 40 layers. I wish I could open this door, but I can't because I'm not, I just can't do that. What is that? Looks cool. I don't know what it is, but that thing, that's what we're going to get. Maybe even an even bigger one eventually. Oh, it's so nice, man. It's so nice. I like this one a lot. On to the next. Okay. Here we are at island number eight, the shop and sell spawners over three times shop value. Oh, cool. Okay. What is this? Oh, just some cool stuff they have. Huh. Cool. Well, they have just a ton of cool little, little display items you can check out. Nice. Huh. That's really cool. Ooh, I like the castle. That's a nice looking castle if I do say so myself. So what's in here? Can we, can we go in here? Queen Ali's throne room. Ooh, that's one of our staff members. Ooh, this looks nice. I like this. I'm, I'm gonna come sit here myself. I, th I think this is now my throne. <laughs> looks like number nine is private, so let's go to number 10. Okay, well this one is really not a whole lot to see, just some chess shops. And then I assume, yep, those are just cactus. So, cool. I mean, hey, it's a functional island. What I really want to get on is Bow Top. So the richest player right now has 2.5 billion, then 1.3 billion, then 1.2. So the, the economy is balanced. I know that seems like a lot of money, 
but people are pretty close on how much money they have because we've spent a long time balancing this economy for a, a, a decent length season. Like the season just started, so it's a good time to start, but I want to at least get somewhere in here. I'll never get here, but I want to get here. 276 million. That's like five nights of hanging out at our cactus farm. Not a problem at all. And that is a cool looking player head. That is such a cool looking player head. Are they online? TP D fainting goat. TPA D. They're not online. Dang it. Should we TPA to a random player? We'll see if they accept. Boom. Let's see if they'll accept it. Okay. They did not accept it. Let's try to do someone in the Java. So without an asterisk and boom, Let's see if they'll accept. See, the issue is, is that a lot of these players, I bet are just AFK, like sitting at their cactus farm. So let's go down there. Is Anubis the best? Hey, that sounds kind of like me. Oh, they accepted it instantly too. Hey, let's go, dude. Let's go. Is Anubis the best? So it's like Neo Cubist. But they're the noobest. Why are they breaking their... No, they broke their... <laughs> they broke their... <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's a cool little starter island. Looks good. A little cactus farm going. I like it. I like it. They might need to repair their... Uh... No, actually. That one that seems to work fine. Huh. Nice. It's fun to teleport around a random player. Oh, no. They meant to break it because they're replacing it. End stone. Cool. Well, let's go teleport... Nice save. Let's go teleport to someone else. Ooh, this just said an Envoy event will start soon. So I'm gonna go to the PvP arena. I'm gonna take off my armor and we're gonna put it in our PV1. We may be too late, but we can still run down there and hopefully get there in time. So Envoys can have tons of good loot. So I wanna make sure and do a couple of those. Uh, especially when you're starting off, they're really nice. So people can kill you down here in PvP, so make sure you don't have anything on your person. So that's a common one. Ah, we'll go ahead and just collect it anyways. So we got a Skycoins booster. Nice, 1.5 times for an hour. I'll take that. What's the cooldown? Three, two, one. Oh no, he took it. <laughs> they took my off boy. Let's see, we go over here and get this one. It's already been taken. If someone can kill me at any point. No, let me get this one. Okay, their cooldown surely won't be ready. Uncommon, I can grab it. Let's go. It's only 50K. <laughs> That's not the greatest about for you for certain, but maybe one of these has not been taken. I don't know. Someone could very easily like just kill me at any point. Oh, let me get this one. Two times sky coin booster for an hour. Dude, that's kind of nice. Hmm. Looks like that one was taken. Oh, this is kind of fun. Whenever envoys happen, definitely you can do slash warp PVP to get here quicker or do warp K O T H or King of the Hill. Okay, well, I think that's probably all of them. Looks like someone died there, too. Okay, we're going to do IS Go since we don't have any sort of uh, <laughs> any combat timer. Once you hit someone, if you log out of the server, by the way, you'll lose all your stuff. Um, you have to wait for your combat timer to go away. That just prevents people from logging out if they're going to lose in the PvP fight because nobody likes that, man. Nobody likes that at all. These are going to be super helpful for when I'm grinding my stuff, though, because that's going to give us so many more Sky Queens, which is really what we need. Okay, guys, well, I don't have much I can do until next weekend, so I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. First of all, thank you very much for watching. Second of all, thank you very much for playing Neo Network. We're like the fourth slash fifth biggest server in the United States, so that's a super huge thing to be proud of for sure. And I just really appreciate you guys. Like, I, I truly do. So thank you all so very much for all the support on, this, on the channel, on the server, everywhere. I feel very, very lucky to have such an amazing community. If you guys would like to play again, you can play on Java or Bedrock, meaning you can play on your phone, your Nintendo Switch, your Xbox, your your Samsung fridge, and of course on Java too, the bread and butter of Minecraft, the best version in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the secret code for today's episode is going to be eight. Okay, we'll try this again. We always have eight, so nine, six, seven, eight. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. I'd appreciate a subscription if you're new. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye!